So this is part two of this editing session, and now we're going to be taking a look at this photo. But be sure to subscribe to see the rest of the photos edited as well. We'll go ahead and get started with this upside down funky blue shot. So this one is already rotated intentionally because it started out like this, and I just thought it would be cooler if it was upside down. So we're going to apply the preset first, and then we're going to adjust the tilt and everything so the composition is right. So again, butterscotch looks good, and uh, I might just go with that, but just want to explore other options. Usually when I'm working with one set, oh, sprinkles also looks nice, unless the colors are drastically different, I tend to just copy and paste the edit throughout the whole thing. So something to keep in mind. For the sake of experimentation, let's go with sprinkles. And I'm going to really angle this so that we don't have any of this showing and so that it looks fairly straight. Next thing is that it's a little too dark for me. That's a bit too bright. And let's play with the tone of her hair. Maybe make it more on the red side. Actually, maybe just in the middle. And what's up with the luminance? Um, let's see, do we like it with red shadows? I think around there is nice. I do like the green tone in this case. I didn't enable profile corrections, so coming back to do that. And it's kind of hard to tell we have green, so I'm just going to leave it on there to add some texture. And to make it look really dreamy, let's remove some of the clarity. Um, and this is very minor, but just cloning out this tiny thing. And what's about the purple? So if we can make the purple a little bit more blue tinted, I think I would like that better. And the blue. Let's make it a little warmer and see what happens. So I do like that kind of, oh, that was not actually the before, this is the before. I do like that kind of washed out tone. Um, it looks really abstract and strange, which is cool. And uh, yeah, uh, see that was how I edited it last time. And now I'm showing you how to edit and it and actually ended up fairly similar. Just a little bit darker when I did it before and maybe a little bit cooler. So I could just bring it back down, which is actually where I was considering leaving it and then darken that a little and you can barely tell the difference. Okay, so that one started out here, ended up here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that process and stick around to see the rest of the photos being edited. And the presets you see me using are available in the description.